Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here and it's time for an epic, epic Bakugan Generation 3 unboxing. So we've got this. It is a Baku 10 with a special attack mantid in it. I'm still learning about the factions and everything or like the groups or whatever the hell it is with this. But yeah, it's definitely different. But regardless, the design's really, really sick. More on the simple side with this, because obviously, like, the whole fusion kind of gimmick with it, with them being able to be split into two, definitely don't mind that. I think it's really cool. And plus, it's a gimmick that we've seen before with, like, the Baku fusions, like a Mectanium Surge, you know, the fusion Bakugan, uh, if you will. So, like, how we have Mutant Helios, Mutant Talion, uh, Mercury Drago, Mutant Krakenoid, Mutant Krowl, like, the few, the few like, fusion uh, Mutant Bakugan like the Baku mutants but yeah um and also like a special attack being like the you know like the Baku cyclone Baku yeah like the Baku cyclone or Baku turbine Bakugan they had the ripcord that you spun and such with them but uh yeah man overall looking really really sick and we got Mantid up in here it's a part of this faction I don't know if it's like a bug faction or not but um yeah definitely just got to figure out like all the factions or groups over time i know y'all help me out with them in the in the comments so like the next batch that i get through i'll probably be much more knowledgeable about like what the groups are the factions because they completely turn those on uh, its head but uh yeah in general here's the tin get that off there looks really dope loving the red on the top um and then the design even so it's got like yellow on the bottom part and the yellow part on the outside it looks like but, uh, yeah, basically, there's the warning in the different languages. Got Mantid, showing how you can combine and brawl. Showing out the ba the Bakugan Battle League. Uh, you know, it's on, on Roblox. But, uh, yeah, so, saying 500, 200, 100, 200, 400, 100. So, the top part being for Mantid itself. So, 500, 100, 400. Then the bottom part being the special attack part for it. So, 200, 200, 100. But, uh, yeah, all right. So, I guess, uh, Bakugan Baku 10. And without further ado, let's uh, get into this bad boy. I gotta rip it, you know. It's only mad at time. Get that. But this box, the design of it looks really, really sick. It doesn't have the spots for, like, the Bakugan on the outside. But it's got this pretty dope uh, look to it. It kind of looks like uh, one of the gate cards, design-wise, on the outside. But Bakugan, Bakugan, each side. Um, and then you got the ripcord. Ooh, this case is nice. So it has a storage space for three Bakugan. So, like, if you're making an actual, like, setup or such, or, oh, not only three, like, six. So, if you want to make, like, two setups or something, yeah, you could use uh, these for them. So, that's pretty dope. So, that one doesn't have anything in it, so we're not going to worry about that. We'll just worry about this one. So, let's see. Open it up if I can. Or is it just, oh, is it just the, it's just the plastic piece on top that snaps. Hey, okay. I like it. The design even, like, not that complicated. Very simple to open. I dig it. I dig it. So the ripcord right there for Mantid. And then the design of Mantid itself. It's got two points sticking out on the outside. All right. So I guess that's the, maybe, I guess, kind of balance with it. You know. The special attacks having, like, more power because they have uh, the special attack card included. But at the same time, like, you got to use the actual ripcord to launch them out instead of like rolling them down like a standard Bakugan. So that's what makes the special attack Bakugan stand out more is that they like spin like Beyblades and have like the tip on the, the end of them. Or like the standard Bakugan, you know. The standard way of playing. But uh, yeah. So we got that Roblox code right there. It says collect them all. Of course right there, Bakugan site, the QR code for it. And I'm guessing all the different groups or factions if you will. So, yeah, in this case, it being, what, like the bug one? Like, that one right there, and it's red. So, definitely, it's not off the colors this time. It's more off of, like, the, the faction or something, if you will. Oh, okay, those those went out. That's why they're sticking out. Like, those actually, like, retract. Those go back in. But, yeah. So, the yellow nub right there, like I said, the ones that are special attacks. That's been, like, Beyblades meant for that. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. All right, then I gotta figure out the actual way to put the ring on, which I'll figure it out. Is there two different rings that come with it, or is it just one? Hmm. There are two. What? There are two rings. So there's two different rings that come on this one. That's weird. I guess you put them on one at a time. You could choose either one 
or maybe it's like a two-in-one deal kind of but that's sick all right so i guess the name of it flame uh, flare axe and smash hammer so there are technically two of them but 200 200 100 yep so shown by the the bottom and then you have the top part mantid 500 100 and 400 so if you combine them together and have both and just dude it's so cool like the artwork overlapping like that i see i see and like yeah so bakugan the gold one's a special attack and then you got the top part for that one that's dope all right so overall 700 300 and 500 looking really cool and it's that so i don't know what that symbol means but basically it's a re-roll so if you get that then you can re re-roll it but yeah dude so sick like just an interesting concept with like the split cards for the special attack on the bottom and then the regular bottom down on the top so you can still use it even if you don't have like a special attack attachment okay okay i see i see like i said i'm still learning about the game big time so you know obviously over time we'll learn the, the symbols and everything like that but we got two cards right here so i got the heart in this vicinity i uh, got the power fist and then the special attack over here and then for this one, uh, big time, like special attack, and then a little bit of the power fist. And then it just all depends on how you set it up. And whatever area you land on, that's the bonus that you get. So, yeah, obviously trying to aim for probably the best one for each. But, you know, the cards uh, matter as well with the, like the gate cards do. And just the artwork for it. I don't know. I guess this reminds me of, like Settlers of Catan a little bit. You know, just because like the different areas and stuff and going through and having different resources or something like that. You, you know. Anyways, we've got to get into uh, Manted. So we got Manted up in here. I don't know the name of the faction for it, but there's the symbol for it. Uh, looking really, really sick, man. These designs for the symbol, like for the factions or the groups, uh, look really, really dope. Um, but then it's got the gold on the top, a little bit of orange right there, cherry red, and also a little bit of the maroon up there as well. Got uh, the yellow gold on the bottom. Looking really, really sick. So, yeah, does it have, like, metal in it or big time weight? It might. Hello. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, and you can see the area for the ring on the outside. I don't know if they separate, like, these ones separate the special attacks, do. I think they might. But, uh, yeah, so, I guess getting into it, uh, the opening action, I'll try to roll it forward. You can kind of roll it forward. It just has, like, the little nub with it, so it makes it tougher. It's meant for like the spinning. Uh, hey, there we go. So Mantid. So of course, like the Mantris or Mantinoid of this gen. And that piece keeps falling down. But yeah, so got the arms that go out. Definitely like you see like the the Mantinoid homage with like how the, the claws go out and everything. Overall looking really, really cool. So I just sneeze. But it's the inside. Okay, it's the inside part or the outside part moves out. The inside part, like yeah, they they move independently so that's that's pretty cool all right and overall like a pretty dope design with it like these points stick out um do these go out oh they're little nubs like the little nub feet all right and that'll help balance it but uh yeah overall mantid having a pretty sick design with it okay so let's see can you separate like the yes you can okay so the special attacks can separate it's just about like you know getting the clamp so they all could separate like this so uh flare axe and smash hammer i'm guessing this is the flare axe smash hammer combo so i'm guessing what uh you take them okay you take them and you put them around like this and they snap into place i believe yeah okay um does it does it go down more or n no no i think no i think we yeah we got it i'm pretty sure we got it on there right so let's see i'll put it back like this or is it this way i forgot the right way of uh setting it on there or is it what Did you just oh okay there we go i just snapped it in the right way but yeah so now it's got a special attack ring around it so you can roll it without the ring or with the ring i guess it's just fully like up to you and your style but in this case it'll keep it more like these blades will be used more for attack so in the case actually being able to bring over some beyblade knowledge with this um you know so the way it'll attack when you launch it so this will be much more like an attacking 
uh, you know, blade for it because these points sticking out big time. So boom, boom, like there's the axe and the hammer, bop, bop. Um, maybe a chance of there being snappage if you spin them hard enough, but hopefully not. But I mean, yeah, that recoil will be able to send the opponent back. So it's like an attack one with this, but then this one being more of an offense, but still having some attack with it because these points up here. This reminds me of like, uh, uh, my bud quake and bacon like his samurizer one of the shi the shapes of it so like around here it might be like you know like a little bit of a barrage attack like boom big point there big point there but especially boom boom right there like pop 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 those points are going to do a lot of damage so yeah for the sake of this i'll leave this one on but uh yeah overall it looks really really cool manted the special uh attack version so yeah the special attack and manted let's see bop bop those together and then the claw, like that's the thing that brings everything together. It's like that little claw for the top part. And nope, you're trying to come out. You just stay in, there we go. All right, so there's Manted completely assembled and everything with the first blade on it. Obviously with whatever blade you put on it, it'll switch it up. In this case, gonna have big time attack because that oval shape with it, with them being on the sides, it'll definitely be like a big time attacking type of blade. Or this one still will attack, but might have more defensive properties with it because it's not as oval shaped, you know, but still having those jagged points when it spins around. So yeah, literally like some bay weight elements with Bakugan though. It's really interesting to see that with the super assaults. But uh, yeah, like I said, paying homage to the Baku turbines as well as like the Baku mutants. But let's see how this goes, if I can get a good launch with it. The record's a little funky, but yeah. Three, two, one. And spinning the right while I went to the other side. Alright, go over there. Nope. Oh. Ooh, you're just going straight ahead. What the hell? Alright, you you be a wild child. The way it was moving like that, it just like shoots straight ahead. But even with the launch, like it'll take practice, like to control it to really figure out like what way it goes. Hey, there we go. And oops. Yo, alright. Well, bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Maybe. Maybe. No. Will you open? You do not want to. Okay. It's definitely going to be tricky with, like, rolling with these. Um, yeah, and it's just trying to open up there. Uh, okay. Nope. And it tried to do it again. What the? It just opened off screen. Okay, whatever. I'll just place it on here so I can show y'all the opening action. But, yeah. Be a wild boy. A wild boy. All right. Yeah, it'll definitely take like some practice just to launch these Bakugan for sure. But you know, they're still they're still really really dope and really cool. But just pr practice makes perfect in this case. And I think did you get stuck? Yes, you got stuck with the truck. All right, try this one more time after I get the hook. Um, yeah, there we go. All right, so I'll just drop it down here. Three, two, and. One, I think it's the way. Three, two, one. And what? You... Huh? Sir? Ex excuse, excuse me? Excuse me! Do you not? It doesn't want to open. You're gonna be, you're gonna be a pain in the boot hair. All right, well. I had to adjust it. Let's try this again. Three, maybe. Or are you gonna, nope. Okay, three, two, one. And nope, it doesn't want to open in the front. All right, well, I mean, like, yeah, just, just this attachment is just being a pain. I know I'm closing it the right way. It's got to be the right way. Well, yeah, it'll take, it'll take some practice with it. You know, still getting used to the, to the new system and everything. But uh, yeah, like the feet come out, but the head part is not. So, just gotta figure that out, like with the the attack ring and everything. Like, let's see. Bop. And yeah, there you go. Like, you can hear it activating, but like, it just didn't open. But yeah, it'll just take some practice with it to really uh, get it down and such. But yeah, it's just the two different parts coming together and everything. But yeah, mainly like the, the hook. I'll, I'll figure it out over time, though. You know, practice makes perfect for sure. This being some of like the first actual Bakugan that we've seen for like gen 3 but anyways y'all that's gonna do it for this review on this absolutely epic bakugan gen 3 uh bakuten featuring manted this awesome looking manted right here 
But anyways, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So yeah, guys, till next time, it is your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Until then, stay awesome. And Bakugan Brawl, I'm up out of here.